Hey y'all, today we have a Shimano Sustain 3000 uh, HD that's sticking in the near the middle of the oscillation. So if you crank it like this, it's not, not too bad, you can't really notice it. If you go slow, you get to about right there and it's sticking on you. Right there, it gets stuck. Stuck, stuck, stuck. So it's closer to the bottom. So we're gonna try to figure out why that is and try to fix it. I'll take off the spool by removing the drag knob, turning it current clockwise, and just for ease of use, I'm going to remove the handle as well. Oh boy, how did I get that stuck on there? Oh, well, that's not good. <laughs> uh, the bill's also bent on this. But the uh, I spoke to the customer and he does not want to replace this or he does leave it the way it is. So we're just gonna work on some of these things in here. Oh, please come off handle. Okay. These handles have a tendency to kind of just get like so locked in there that you could shear them off when you're trying to take it off, which is why it's always a good idea to add grease or some sort of lubricant to the uh, the threads on the the handle. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is take off the rotor so we can kind of get inside there. I'm gonna start with the top and then we'll work our way to the bottom if need be. But to remove this rotor, we need to remove a screw that's on this uh, sleeve right here. I gotta remove these uh, washers. All right, let's see. Yeah, there we go. And this <clears throat> this uh this uses a really small uh, hex screw. And I found another washer, so hold on. So it's gonna be right, 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 somewhere. Holy moly. Right there. I don't remember what the size is. It's either 0.7 or 0.9. I guess it's a 0.9. Yep. Yeah. Now I've done a few of his reels before, so the last one I had, it was this was frozen on there. And we're going to hope that this one is not, and it's not, yay. Because getting it off was not nice. So let's remove this washer right here, and then we're going to undo this part to get to the get the rotor off. I'm just trying to see underneath there <clears throat> and go towards the, uh, the top part. Like the, uh, the anti reverse and the bearings around that area. To me, it doesn't really feel like a gear issue, but it could be. Pull that up, you're going to find a, a gasket under there. We're going to leave it on there and just take it off or take the top off. And to remove this, we're going to turn to the right, which is clockwise. Pull those two pieces up together like that. Now we just kind of rock this handle back and forth as we pull up to get it off. I mean, in theory, that's how it works. <laughs> it does not always work, but we'll get it. Woo! I'm already scared to look under here. I see this stuff. I see that rust there. Oh boy. <laughs> Alright, so let's undo these three screws to get to that top stack. Oh 
I'm scared to look. Uh, okay. I see Rusty Rusty. All right, let's pull it up. And that looks all right. I'm going to pull up on this. Not to get the... Uh, not to get the uh, <clears throat> the pinion gear out because there's another bearing under there that will stop it because that bearing will like they hit the uh, one of the gears in there. I just want to check these things out first and that all feels fine. All right, let's dive into the reel. Open it up. We're going to undo some screws on this. I'll show them as we go, but they all have different sizes for the uh, for the screws to to remove them. Is there another one here? I think that was it. I'm just removing the uh, the the boot or the rope guard or the rash guard or whatever you want to call it. stick that back there instead and now we have these three screws here to remove and I'm pretty sure that's all we need to remove I need to remove this um, motor brake as well to get to get it off there's four screws I take that back this screen is kind of messy What size is this? It's likely going to be a 6 or an 8. And as soon as I said, it might be a 10. I'm talking about the size of these things. Yeah, it's a 6. Okay. And do you have to remove that guard? No. Uh, the screws on this are going to be the small thin one it's going to be over here the uh, thicker th the thicker silver screws over here and then we have the top two that are going to be the same size I'm going to put that just to make sure versus saying that yeah all right so let's see what we have going on here I'm going to pull this gear out Man, this really is nasty. Ugh. Okay. All right, so let's pull this, that shaft out so we can remove this, pull this post or um, shaft out of here so we can remove the main shaft. I'm just going to pull down on it. Now we're going to just kind of rotate that a little bit. Alright, so we're getting stuck right there. I can feel it. Cool. Yeah, we're stuck right there. Still stuck. Still stuck. And now we can pull that main, I'm sorry, the pinion gear out. Lots of stuff flying off this reel, guys. I'm sure you guys can see that. So let's go ahead and just clean this up a little bit and, and stick this back through that pinion gear and see. If that is a problem. Which it might be. now 
All right, let's leave it on there. I want to stick a, a Q-tip through that. That pinion gear to see if we can clean whatever is in there out, if there's anything. All right, let's find out. It's so hard to tell when these things are bent. Well, most of the time it's hard to tell. It feels like there's a little bit of a, an issue right here. But on trying this, I just fixed it. You know, it might have just been some build up around this right here. As you can see, there's a little bit of uh, wear right there. And it might have been some stuff built up inside the um, the pinion gear as well. Uh, the, how that can happen is you kind of got a reel that just sits, sits around for a while and you've gotten some and has not been serviced and you've gotten some salt water or something uh, intrusion and it just kind of sits there and it builds up and builds up and kind of creates a barrier so I'm gonna put this back together and come back to you guys and show you if that worked or if you need to replace the shaft okay so good news the uh, the, the cleaning of the shaft and inside the pinion did help on this one so we're not experiencing that experiencing that issue anymore uh, even though we fixed that shaft uh, we still gotta have to replace it because we have some serious wear going on here at the top um, near where it enters the spool but if you were to be in a bind and you just couldn't get a new shaft just doing that trick of cleaning it off may help you if you want to see a full breakdown of one of these uh, not specifically a, a, a sustained 3000 but I have a 4000 that's similar uh, I'll include a link in the description below and you can see that it's a complete breakdown I think or pretty much at least 90% of it uh, but it kind of walks you through the entire reel how to take it apart service it and reassemble it this had quite a bit of grease inside there so I thought there was just way too much stuff going on inside there but it is what it is we've got it cleaned up and I'm back working again very soon all right guys thanks for watching please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you appreciate it or found the, the content useful and I will see you guys on the next video